On November 11th, Veterans Day, we're having an exciting lineup of events here at the Amenity, but I want to draw your attention to two specific events. First, the new Seven Hills app. After the planned festivities honoring those who have served our country, we will have tables set up here at the Amenity with volunteers ready to administer account activation in the new Seven Hills app. You will need to bring your existing amenity cards and turn them in to activate the app. Please understand, those old cards will have no value after December 31st, 2023. They'll no longer work to get you in the pool, and the security guards will not accept them as valid identification. If you read my communication last week, you'll see that only home owners will have access to the app. It is important that you convert over as soon as possible because, number one, the app is your new ID. Number two, the app also will be our communications portal for much of the information that we currently send in email. Finally, it becomes your access into the spaces with access readers all around the community. So, I strongly encourage you to come by on November 11th and let us activate your app access, keeping you connected to your community in this new method. Now, there will continue to be ID cards only for the following four groups. Number one, residents ages 13 to 15. Number two, residents that are non-homeowners ages 16 and up, caregivers, and long-term tenants. For those groups, their first card will be produced at no charge. Since homeowners have the app, they will not be provided a complimentary card. They may request them for $30 each in lieu of using the app, but using the app is highly recommended. Please read the email sent on November 1st and click the link to the form to request the replacement cards for the qualified non-homeowners in your household. We will have forms available, but going online in advance will be much more efficient. You will receive a confirmation email when you fill out that form correctly. You may need to check your spam folder on the chance it may be there. So here's how the event works on November 11th. Come to the clubhouse between 1 and 3 p.m. We'll have several volunteers staffing tables organized by your last name. There will be QR codes for Apple and Android to download the app while you're in line, or you may go in advance to the Apple Store or Google Play Store and download the app. The app will not be fully functional until your account is activated in the app. Remember, you'll be required to return your current existing ID cards for your app to be activated. So there you go. Now you're up to speed on the rollout of the new Seven Hills app. The second thing I want to share with you today is about the long-awaited second amenity. For those that don't know, I took over as declarant and board president a little over a year ago and began working immediately on this exciting new project for our community. It's not unusual for large neighborhoods to switch declarants over time. I'm only the fourth in the service position since Seven Hills was created. What is unusual is that usually a contribution account changes hands with a declarancy that has money for future amenities. That did not happen, but it's okay. We have a plan. You will have your first official vote as residents on November 11th. There will be additional chances to vote if you miss the 11th, but I strongly hope you come out and take that opportunity. Now I'm calling this the now or later vote, and here's why. Either way you vote, the dues are increasing next year by $75. We will still need to prepare to manage landscaping and staffing at the new amenity location, so the vote will not impact your dues either way. Also, either way you vote, we are constructing a Junior Olympic pool, parking, and bathrooms, something along the lines of this exhibit here. So what does the vote actually do? You are voting yes to allow the community to take on up to $3 million in debt to build a better amenity, a better facility. If you vote yes, you'll get a new five to 6,000 square foot clubhouse that's capable of holding events with up to 600, maybe even 750 people and additional athletic courts. If funding allows, I also really want to enclose that swimming pool like you see in this exhibit or something similar, making it a nine to 12 month pool instead of a summer only pool like our current one. While this is not the final drawing, it would be more like this exhibit here. Voting yes allows us to build something like this, beginning right away. Voting no simply means money goes into reserves and we build extra things when we have the funds to do so. Now this is a construction style loan, which means the funds are supplied as completion inspections are performed by the bank. 
The bank only releases funds at milestones of completion, and we only pay interest on how much is outstanding. Our current plan budget for 2024 and beyond anticipates the yes vote and anticipates servicing that debt. Per the covenants, you will have one vote per address, so spouses need to get together on this one. We don't need any marital discord. Again, either way, we've already done a lot of grading work and completed a drainage pond, done some rock studies and surveying and engineering. We've spent over half a million dollars already. Your vote will guide us on how to proceed from here. There's one more thing. We've done some informal polling over the last few months on another exciting topic. An internet company has approached us wanting to make Seven Hills the fastest residential neighborhood in Georgia, at least for now. They want to place a headroom facility inside Seven Hills that brings fiber to every door in here, a minimum of one gigabyte symmetrical. That means download and upload speeds are the same to every home here. They would start at $50 per home per month for that level of service with upgrades offered that provide television service and or telephone services affordably. At a, all at a nice savings from what our survey suggests that we are all currently paying. They would also offer upgrades that could take your home internet as fast as 10 gigabytes symmetrical. Now, I don't know what kind of space agency or online shopping service you're running from your home that needs the speeds that fast, but that's very fast internet. For those paying less than $50 a month currently, such as Medicare supplements, they have ways to keep your bill lower, maybe even lower than your current provider payment. Here's the kicker. You'll be polled at the bottom of your voting ballot to see if this opportunity is of interest to you. If we agree to allow them into the neighborhood, they are offering to write the HOA a check for around $1 million towards your new amenity. That goes a long way to having everything we all want for the new amenity. Everyone, I know I covered a lot here. I wanted to conduct a formal meeting, but this presentation allows you to digest all that's on the table. Feel free to email the HOA with any follow-up questions, or you can even contact us through the new app. Either way, come down on November 11th, get connected on the new Seven Hills app, and have your voice heard through our first formal vote in Seven Hills history. As always, I speak for the board and I, it is our pleasure to serve you. Thanks for watching.